We're talking to award-winning actress Chloe Sevigny, who's coming up to star in Abigail 1702, a sort of sequel to The Crucible, written by Roberto Gare Sacasa, who you worked with on Big Love. So is, is that when he first told you about this project? No, actually, we'd been wrapped for a couple years or a year and a half maybe from Big Love or more, and, and he called me and said, listen, Chloe, you know, I, I wrote this play and I have you in mind for the lead character, and, and I don't want to go so far as to say he wrote it for me, but... He kind of did. And it's a very interesting concept to pick up on Abigail Williams' story uh, mm -hmm. after she leaves the play. Apparently what Roberta was saying is that at the end of the play, at the Crucible, he had seen a production, loved it so much, and he didn't remember the text, so he went and read it, and at the end they sort of have a, here's where they are now, because all the characters in the Crucible are based off of real people. And Abigail Williams, it was sort of like, more or less, I think she you know, went off to Boston and did it, but no one really knows. And there was the germ. For, uh, for the play for Roberto. Abigail now is, um, she's fled Salem obviously, and is um, doing good works and trying to redeem herself and um, kind of running from the devil, hiding from the devil who she had made an arrangement with. Yeah, it's a little bit. really about this, this woman's journey of her salvation and kind of her struggle to find out whether or not she's gonna get it. And so this guy, uh, John Brown, is a, a sick man who, and she's a sort of healer um, and I arrived to her house uh, searching for some kind of relief. This play is really beautiful and profound and I said to him that I feel that when people do The Crucible now they'll actually refer to this play to get a real take on Abigail or who she might be. It's very interesting. I mean, that was uh, very colorful and has managed to um, seemingly write uh, speakable dialogue but also in period. I mean, obviously, it's in modern languages and so on like that, but it is written, the sentences are constructed in a way that you can believe it's a period piece. I had worked with Arthur Miller on Resurrection Blues with David at the Guthrie, the world premiere, and Arthur had intimated to me that Abigail, in some ways, has never been fulfilled in his mind by, by any actress of all the productions he'd seen. Like, there was always one element missing. And I feel, and I told Chloe this, that I think she has got all the qualities that would be uh, needed for the role. You're kind of fitting this in before you go to film American Horror Story season two. Um, is it invigorating to sort of do theater and then TV and then hopefully come back? Well, I haven't done theater for like over 10 years, so I'm really excited about it. I, you know, it, it is definitely reinvigorating my love for acting and, and for directors because sometimes that can wane. So I'm just really excited to learn stuff and to challenge myself and, and to grow as an actress. And I think this is kind of the best way to do that.